Hello everybody, welcome to a DDO video for... It's not a stream video. Uh, I'm going to do Proofs in the Poison. Uh, I was all excited to do it last night and then I wanted to share with you guys. So that's just how, it, how what I felt like doing. And uh, Friday is a recording day, not a streaming day typically now. So. But, uh, you know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna just record this little video uh, for you guys. It's gonna be a little different than the last couple of runs because I don't have uh, the ability to trap right now. Which is pretty different from what I've been doing last uh, little bit. Uh... You may recall, if you are keeping up with the stream, if you're not keeping up with the stream, then you probably can't recall, uh, but I'm currently on this Blaster Cleric build. Pull it up here for a second. It's just a straight up Cleric. Um, using uh, like, I have to actually look, using the um, Divine Disciple. Divine, divine dis disciple. I don't know. I don't know what the words are, and I can't. I can't read that font. Um, and doing um, fire domain, pumping my my light action. So these uh, these first three slots, four slots really, are all just. Um, SLAs. Just ninja herself out of here. <coughs> Excuse me. Which is the only reason why we're able to afford to play this kind of a build. spot. There's a lot of holding down your your block button and shooting. Um, they are entangled. Tangled. Ooh, Gandalf is sticky. Alright, now I think we can bring blasts. Yeah. I mean, who doesn't want to have a blast? Uh, Blast will probably end up eating all these guys, so we don't want to use more of our hit point or more of our spell points than we need to. Although we are spending an awful lot of time webbed. Keep throwing them fireballs. Try to 
blast through this. nice thing is if they they come at me it's no big deal oh, this is not where I wanted to go because uh, this thing has quite the line of defenses As long as Blast is loaded up, he's pretty good at clearing the trash. Uh, we do have to keep a little bit of an eye on him, which is nice to have these lay on hand type things from the Asimar. Alright, so he's at a spell point. We're going to put a pause on him. Excuse me. We're going to go ahead and summon our cleric here. Our pocket cleric. And it's, put, it's possible that I might even want to have DVs at this point to be able to do this same thing with my hirelings but uh, for right now I'm not gonna screw around with it all right so you're good all right dismiss her it's a long quest maximizing um, your mana is pretty good and if you consider him uh, part of your mana supply, then you'll be in the right direction. Alright, let's see. So, now we should go open this door. Yep. Normally, for... I like having access to, like... Oh, what is it? Ice Storm Scrolls. I don't think I can quite pull off the UMD on those yet. It is high. Let's see. Let's actually look at it. What is the UMD right now? 15. So if I had like a... I also don't think I'm wearing a... Like a big charisma. I think I have a plus three charisma item. Alright, let's go ahead and resummon you here. Let you eat all these guys. This is almost one of those times where I should be, I should have a, uh, Intimidate on my bar. Uh, also, I think I'm going to go ahead and switch my Maximized in Power 
um, sound burst for my non maximizing power sound burst um, on my bar. Most of the time when I cast that spell, I just want to stun a bunch of the guys, a bunch of the attackers. But uh, sometimes it's it is a situation where I want to have one that is like all DPS setup or damage setup at least, maybe not DPS but damage. So I think I reached a point where I want to do that more often. Speaking of things, this is the trick that I do right here, this particular corner. I gather the aggro and I come back into this room. And I pick one of these things to stand on. You notice they they are taking the damage from, from running around in here. And you gotta save your Gotta conserve those spell points is a long quest. If I remember right, there's only one shrine. We're going to do basically the exact same thing. We're going to gather up any aggro that's floating around. Ooh, we managed a red skull. Nice. We're going to hippity hoppity ourselves into our, or at least some of them are taking acid damage. how we do that. We'll take advantage of all the things. Uh, pardon me. Get this key. So maybe going how much damage exactly is being absorbed by your ass resistance. 46. That's a lot of damage sucked up right there. Shrine up, shrine up. So, the main reason why we're not streaming today, other than the fact that it's not a streaming day is the Magic Pro Tours coverage starts here in a little bit. And I want to watch a few minutes of it here. There, I well, uh, I love Magic and I love watching the Magic coverage so of the Pro Tour and really all the big events because I don't travel, I hate being in the car. Anyone who knows me knows that's an understatement. <laughs> They're like, but you'll sit in a plane and fly for days, but you can't sit in the car for 30 minutes to come visit us. Like, no. No, I cannot. This fate touched guy. Well, oh, that's overkill.
They've greased us inside the acid, that's why we're sliding around. Kind of like lava, every time you hop in and out of the acid, you're going to get a hit. Of course, there'll be a small uh, damage over time effect. But not nearly as much if you spend all your time hopping. That's cool. Oops. We have killed many quick, quick foots. We'll just blast our way out of here. I don't care if they follow us. At some point we'll uh sun blast and you know basically clear all the aggro. Do it now. You want a fireball in there? Oh, he's got a dot running. Dang it, that's not the button I want to push. fixed up. That's good enough. Alright, we have our key. Just finish you. A lot of people don't like this quest because it's longer, or a little bit confusing. I don't know. 
I also feel like it's a quest that once you learn it kind of the dislike for it falls out super fast uh, I think it's a matter of a lot of people just don't really know the quest um, Probably don't want to stand directly next to me here, Blast. Oh, he's taking a lot of damage. What am I looking for? Summon our little helper person. I could use a little bit of DVs while I'm doing things. The blast our way to the end here. If I would have had a some stacks of fireball or acid ball or something like that story may have been a little different I may have had a few more spell points to deal with this stuff zap Yeah, I probably didn't have to have that last little bit, but whatever, worth it. So let's just take a quick look. Um, it took me 22 minutes, and we got a few bonuses here. 40 members, 100 members, so there's uh, 2,000, say... 700 uh, for running through the quest and then because of first time elite difficulty 80% bonus uh, never play this adventure before bonus because this is a TR uh, street continue bonus uh, tome of tome of learning bonus uh, we conquested I didn't smash things I I've kind of gotten away from smashing things uh, persistence flawless uh, daily playthrough bonus so all together I think it said it gave us uh, we got 14,100 XP for completing the quest plus an additional 2,000 for being a VIP so there's 16 uh, 16 17 18 let's call it 19 so a pretty reasonable chunk of of XP uh, for this one quest again would have been a couple minutes faster here and there had I had a, a slightly if I had some scrolls that I could fire, felt like I could fire off realistically reliably whatever and we'll get our end reward and we'll call it a call it a video Uh, great axe that looks like a rake with a red slot. This tells the valor it is. Alright guys, well thanks very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. And if you are one of those individuals who do not like um, proof is in the poison, I hope that I showed you that uh, is a pretty reasonable quest to run. Alright guys, thanks for watching and we'll see you soon. Peace.